motor racing is many things, but it's uh, for a start, it's a lot of fun. A multi-day experience of many sports and uh, uh, much fun, I guess, and, and pain in some cases. But uh, just a test, a test of people and a test of um, fitness and a, a test of time. Actually. Yeah, we ended up in hospital last year, but that's a whole different story. And also uh, teamwork. Teamwork. Uh, <laughs> absolutely teamwork. It's all in one. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of more. It's one of those things that's a bit more than it's some of its parts. You know, it's. It, it is a journey. There's something else going on here, you know. And it's about, it's about, you know, you. These are things that we don't normally do and experience in daily life. And yeah, you know, we, you know, we live in a managed landscape, but this is about as, you know, as, as wild as we can get in the UK. And taking a step out of real life for a while and doing something just really different. That's that's what it's really about to me. It's almost, you know, I know I'm going to hate myself for saying this. It's almost a state of mind. It's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of adventure. Um, might be some carnage out there, might be some challenging parts. Depends on the weather, depends on the course, depends on the, there's so many variables and that's what makes it quite exciting at this stage. Um, it's uh, discover the landscape. Yes. Um, nature. Nature. Uh, a moment of uh, partage uh, together. Uh, sportive uh, moment. <laughs> and, uh, we love sport and uh, the adventure race is uh, the perfect sport for, uh, for us. We're in Selkirk in the Scottish borders. Um, we're going to maybe start here, maybe we're being bus somewhere. That's all but unknown. Never been here before, never seen much about this area, so it's only... Are you all set, you know where you're right now? Yeah? No, but we have a map, so... All we need to do is get to the water. <laughs> Which we know. <laughs> Good luck everybody, I hope you have an amazing weekend. We'll see you at the other side. Okay, are you ready Scott? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Clearly the course is at the kind of the centre of everything. That's kind of why we're here. I want folks to have have felt they've got under the skin of a place. I want them to have seen a lot of stuff. It's almost like um, um, you know, as as the course planners, we've and the organizers, we've kind of taken people on a bit of a guided tour. Uh, and we're kind of saying to them, come and have a look at this cool thing over here. You know, stuff that people wouldn't have otherwise necessarily have found themselves. Oh, it's very important. Yeah, I mean, I don't think any adventure racer would go to a place where it's going to be dull scenery. You, get, you go for the, for the location a lot of the time. Um, you go to race, but you go there, you want to go somewhere where it's interesting. And I mean, this area is going to throw up a lot. I th I'm, I'm assuming we're going to be kayaking down a river, which is always great fun. I mean, there might be some rapids and stuff like that. And it's a nice way to, to see the terrain. I think I paddle to, we paddled from Yeah to Kelso uh, and that was particularly nice. You know, it was green the whole way down, had a lot of country homes, you know, it was a really nice view to be on the water looking out. Um, so I think that, that paddle along the trees yeah. is it definitely up there. Yeah, there's a nice wee paddle actually. Yeah. I'm glad it rained the last couple of weeks, that's for sure, because that would have been a bony arse paddle if it hadn't rained. So it was good to have a bit of water in it, made it a bit more exciting and interesting. Seen some kingfishers, heaps of herons. Probably seen an osprey, but I don't think it was. A couple of swimmers. A few swimmers. Some kelpies. <laughs> It was a long bike ride, wasn't it? Yeah. It was interesting. Interesting route choices, some really required. And uh, finding paths was always a challenge. But we've made it through. It always helps when it's a summer, summer evening. Did you wake up? Uh, sort of thing, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. Long way. Hours. Hours. It's, uh, I think we're about a third of the way in or something like that. We've been started back at midnight. Yeah. And it's now... What is it, six in the morning? 6.27, so yeah, pull about another. We're about a third of the way in. I, I suppose really wanting to enjoy it. I suppose you come to the near like the borders, uh, it's stunning in this kind of setting and everything else. So you just want to, you know it's going to be a tough race, but actually you want to be able to kind of take a moment and see the surroundings as well. Oh, the bike is um, good. It's 
uh, it was uh, hard to bike <laughs> at times yeah. so we've been walking in our uh, bike shoes but, uh, it very, it, it, we, we saw the ridge during the the night so we couldn't see the views no. but it was very very interesting to to just follow and and feel the wind and sometimes rain and and uh, it's very high up it's everything i think yeah i think it's very very important yeah we just travel through the landscape and see things and uh, smell things and uh, and, uh, and uh, experience what it is like in this spot of the world is is uh, yeah. it's it's very much and we yeah. choose the competition uh, because of the landscape so this is primarily about hey, it's a lot of fun right first off these are little fun activities but what it's really about is uh it's, it's breaking up that massive bike like there's a long long you know long period in the saddle this helps break that up uh, a lot of fun and also introducing people to to the great work they do here at Calvert Trust uh, and giving experiences to people it's just fantastic so we wanted to bring him, bring people here to showcase this cool place as well Climb when you're ready. After, okay, <laughs> but it's very scary. All the adventure races are in beautiful places. You know, they're amazing places all over the world. Scottish Borders is one of the places where I've, you know, I've been here before, but never spent two and a half days exploring it. So I'm really looking forward to that, actually. It's a beautiful part of the world. I think if you're going to be out, I think you should be in nice places for sure. And I think the experience of just seeing the, the beauty of the country will be fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I mean, I, I live and train in this area. I'm over the hills here all the time. I think it's an absolutely fantastic area, and I, didn't, I can't even believe that there's going to be another another event like this before now. Obviously, the weather made it fairly interesting, especially on the trekking stage. Yeah, it was pretty. We were on the edge a bit. It was very cold. Yeah. Considering it's July. It didn't feel. It felt full-on winter conditions. We took an interesting route up Greymare's Tail, going direct up on the left. I was explaining people when Morphy went up the pass, and then there's a path off up to White Tree, a bit further up. No, it's a bit further up. Anyway, it's not it's up there. Go. It's just, it's a really we nice really wanted to get to checkpoint 20 before it got dark, which we just about did. So that was a, like our yeah. that was our big thing of the race. If you can nail that. But they really chose some real gems that I haven't been to. I've been waiting to go and do the Gypsy Glen, and we happened to do it with gusting 40 mile an hour winds. So very lucky. those what we think are going to be the low moments we use them to, to test teams yeah so the orienteering stage on this one um, is, delib is deliberately quite tricky you know you better have two navigators in your team and they better be on their game you know during the dark hours of Sunday morning otherwise you are coming unstuck that little tiny island there yeah. There's a portage now. Right. And it's Portage, portage River, River Left. River Left. Portage yeah. River Left. Uh, yeah, that rain that came on our heads earlier today. Upper Tweed, I think. Hopefully we'll see some of that in the river tonight. Get us to end the weekend a bit quicker. In your hometown. Yeah. It's my river. It's the River Tweed. Well, I mean, yeah, we're as far as 
physically we'll be exhausted, um, mentally we'll be very, very tired as well, um, and we'll just need sleep. The first thing we want will be food, hot food, greasy, hot, salty food. Then we'll want to have a shower and then we'll want to get to sleep as quick as we can. Uh, sleeping? You normally fall asleep after a race like this, so... It's <laughs> like hurt. holding your beer. <laughs> but I think you'll find this in the same spirit we start the race. At the end of the race, we'll, we'll hold it together to the end. I'm all right now. <laughs> it's done, it's over, it's over. We thought we'd finish it out earlier, but anyway, we're done. We're all in one piece. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was tough. Yeah, it was tough stuff. I mean, it's it's great to see people back here at the finish line for loads of reasons. One, you know, they're back safe and sound. You know, back to the, that's that's first and foremost. You know, because there's all sorts of stuff that can happen in, a, in an event like this, in a place like this, and the things that we're asking people to do. So, getting people safe, safe and sound back is great. But the smiles we're seeing on people's faces and the, the stories they're telling of kind of kind of the camaraderie and the self-sufficiency that we, you know, that you expect from adventure racers, but also of the places they've been. Time after time, you know, people have been saying to me, you know, I didn't expect that. That was incredible, you know, that was wild and that was kind of remote and, you know, these, these people won't have seen shops or anything like that for the entire race. And it, see, that, that, it, it was really unexpected. And, you know, people are saying, you know, that's some of the best mountain biking I've ever done. You know, that's, you know, we've had several comments about that's the best kind of paddling section we've ever seen in an adventure race anywhere in the world. Those kind of things. So seeing people being enthusiastic about this place where I live is really cool. And there is a bit of extra pressure because I live here. Uh, I know how amazing this place is. I also know how unexplored this place is. Um, you know, people look at the Lake District and they look at the Highlands and, and those kind of, you know, those, and they're fantastic. People forget this place exists. People don't know this place exists. And I live here and I love it and it is incredible. So I, there is a bit of an obligation, you know, you know, on my part and a desire on my part to say, look how cool this is. Look what an amazing place the, the Borders is, the Scottish Borders is for adventure. You know, you might never have thought about it before now, but look at this stuff. This is really cool. Um, so Itera Light was definitely uh, everything it was built to be and a whole lot more. Um, I'd say it was completely uh, a fantastic uh, course where you showed the highlights of the Scottish borders, but more importantly, it was real mountain biking and real mountain marathon and real kayaking. So, um, a great race. Yeah. All <laughs> tired, happy. Uh, yes, it's a um, lot of uh, emotional uh, when uh, you arrive, and after maybe uh, on dit, six, uh, 60 hours. 60 hours. Hour. Hour. I think uh, we are tired. 